The space shuttle Endeavour returned to Kennedy Space Center back in March, early March of this year after landing at Edwards Air Force Base following its previous mission. It landed atop the, at the shuttle landing facility being carried atop the 747 and was then towed to the orbiter processing facility for post-mission servicing as well as preparations for its upcoming mission. The uh, Meanwhile, the payload activities uh, were happening concurrently, uh, payload processing uh, and the shuttle processing in the payload in the space station processing facility were being conducted in uh, September the MPLM and of course activities of course continuing on with the main engine installation on September 25th on the vehicle following each flight all three main engines are replaced and in the vehicle assembly building, the external tank is being mated to the solid rocket boosters. External tank uh, uh, goes on to the boosters after the boosters have been stacked on the mobile launcher platform. During crew interface uh, testing, uh, the crew were at Kennedy Space Center a number of times prior to launch activities. Uh, Kathy, or all the crew were uh, here at various times looking at the uh, toolkits that they'll be carrying aboard, Linda Godwin as well as Dan Taney. They also spent some time in the orbiter's payload bay while it was in the orbiter processing facility. She can relay things. Spent some, the crew spent some time in the cockpit. Uh, final inspections of the Orbiter's windows, of course, verifying that there are no scratches or dings in the windows. Using high-powered uh, lights to do that work. And again, of course, spending time with the uh, payload. The uh, prime payload on this mission is uh, the MPLM, which will carry experiment racks as well as supplies and equipment to the International Space Station. Meanwhile, again, concurrently, the Space Shuttle Endeavour uh, being rolled back from the orbiter processing facility. On October the 24th, it was backed out of OPF Bay 1 and moved into the vehicle assembly building. Inside the vehicle assembly building, the external tank and solid rocket boosters were already prepared and ready for the orbiter to be mated to it. This is a view of the uh, MPLM being lifted, rotated in the space station processing facility. All the experiments and so forth are on board being moved into the payload transportation canister which will then take it out to the launch pad. On October the 31st, space shuttle Endeavour made it to the external tank and solid rocket boosters aboard the uh, huge mobile launcher platform was being carried out to the pad by the crawler transporter. It's about a six-hour trip from the vehicle assembly building to the pad. Payload transportation canister is uh, currently shown here at the payload changeout room prior to the 
rotating service structure being closed around it. Once the RSS is closed around it, the orbiter's doors can be opened and the payloads can be installed. This is a view of the Starshine payload, one of our uh, other payloads. That this payload will be deployed uh, following docking operations to the station. It contains uh, hundreds of mirrors that were sh uh, shined by uh, thousands of students around the world. And Starshine will be deployed. It's the second time it's been deployed from the space shuttle. And this is a view of the closing of the payload bay doors. Preparations are complete. Pay payload bay doors were actually closed for flight back on November the 26th. This all occurring at the pad inside the payload changeout room.